Well, you know, in the Psalms, in, in the in the the first Psalms, as we begin, see, we, right now we can open up all the books of the Scriptures because they will all testify to this moment in time. That's what is happening in the world, that all things are coming towards this moment of, um, um, there's, a, there's a, a climax of events that are all merging towards this one point in time and space. And all the books of the prophets, all the inclinations, all of the aspirations, all of our thoughts that God has as God has invested throughout the past and all throughout human history, are all merging at this one point. And it seems from ground level that there's a great conspiracy against good being engineered and manipulated by this Kabul of rich industrialist, militarist, uh, world statesmen, capitalists, globalists, um, of whom the American system of things seems to be at the forefront. It seems that they are conspiring. Trilateral Commission and all these other groups whom we begin to identify and we say, while well, they're meeting in secret places and uh, they are trying to um, uh, figure out ways how to maintain not only their control, but their manipulation of the events of history so that they can assure uh, that their aspirations are realized in the world and that they can create the world in their own image. But the scripture says that he who sits in the heavens shall laugh because there is only one conspirator in the universe and that conspirator is the master of the universe himself. And when God put the forces of darkness in motion in ancient times, the greater light to rule the day, the lesser light to rule the night. And just as Paul says, now when they begin to say peace and safety, when they believe that they have a mandate to create the world in their own image, then the sudden destruction will come. And then Paul, of course, goes on to say, but ye are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. You are the children of the light. You are not the children of the night. Well, what God is doing, of course, has allowed this darkness to flourish and has allowed it to come to such perfection so that the light of darkness is so attractive. Lucifer, the light bearer, he, it's, it, it, the dark side of reality is very attractive. It's very alluring. And we are drawn to it, just as moths are drawn to the fire at night to be, uh, to be um, destroyed. However, See. God has appointed a time in which to shed a greater light on that light. And that's the process that is unfolding right now in our time. 